everybody. Welcome back to the 25 North Podcast. This is Jason. How's it going? Hello. I did, I did not do the NPR voice this time. <laughs> yeah, I was, I, I've gotten so used to it, it kind of threw me off for a moment there. I'm doing well, this Jason. Is, this is Jason is sweatpants energy. <laughs> <laughs> no, not sweatpants. It's oh. too hot for sweatpants in Minnesota right now. This is Butch the cool, shorts. relaxed GM who doesn't want to hurt us, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah this, this is uh, basketball shorts, Jason. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is not great Comfort sweatpants mode. season. No, God, no. <laughs> it's been kind of feeling like it around here the past couple days. Been oh, chilly nice. for sure. But at the same time, it, I think it's largely been chilly due to the outrageous amount of smoke in the air due to a couple of major fires up here in Canada. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it'll rain and push all that away soon enough, and we'll be back to normal. And when you say push it away, you mean push it south to us? Yeah, south to you, further east, back home, across the prairies. Yeah, just <laughs> not here anymore, really. <laughs> Luckily, I'm close enough to the edge of the mountains. Everything just gets funneled out, so nothing really sticks around for too long unless it's pumping into us from somewhere else. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we've been uh, we've been going through a little bit of a heat wave. I don't know how warm it got up by you, Rachel. Also very hot and yucky. Yeah. Yeah, it was like super humid and it got up to like 102. And it was just nuts. It was Texas weather. (laughs) Welcome to our hell. Got a taste of what we got. And right now it's a cool 87 degrees. (laughs) Oh, thank God, though. I'll take it. I'll take it while we have it right now, man. It's been horrendous. Uh, Just this summer has been god awful in terms of the weather. I cannot wait for fall weather. It's going to be so nice, especially because like all the best things to watch are going to be up around then again. It's going to be my time to rewatch over the garden wall. That is so monthly tradition or yearly tradition. So yeah, apparently the heat index for us on Wednesday, heat index is like a what it feels like with the combination yeah. of the humidity. 110. Oh, mm. boy. That's <laughs> neat. Yeah. Yay. Oh, stay also, inside. Jackson, I don't know what you're talking about. Right now, it says that it's actually currently 99 degrees. Really? You said my, 89. My computer says 87. <laughs> Your computer's a liar. I guess so. Your computer's so. a liar. No, it's just been pretty awful around here. Like, we've had high hundreds. Or, like, at least we've been in the hundreds for, like, the last, like, few days. And mm. we'll probably continue to be that way until a few more months. And then it'll get to, like, 27 degrees one day randomly. Yeah, yeah. fall's my favorite season. Oh, so. I love fall. I'm Bring so it on. excited. Bring it on. I enjoy Bring on winter. the apple cider. And yeah. the spooky Halloween stuff, man. That's when I thrive. Jackson's been seeing me thrive in real time as I see all the spirit Halloweens coming up. I'm like, yes! Yes! I took you on a ghost tour to get you in the spirit of the season. It was really cute. It was a really cute surprise date. It's... We we live in a place where there's a lot of, like, uh, history surrounding it, and so there will be these nightly tours where they... We'll take a group of people, take them to historical sites and be like, there's a ghost that haunts this place and gives like a background on what happens. It's I rad. See. It appeals it para- to me as paranormal tourism. Yeah, yeah paranormal I see. tourism, but it also has that hit of history that I love. And so it was, it's perfect for me. They can yeah. be pretty cool. Yeah, They're they super are. fun. Yes. Very nice. We saw a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> we both did see a ghost technically so that was fun yeah sweet yeah sweet. y'all fought some ghosts <laughs> last time we did fight some ghosts <laughs> some ghost puppies they were so cute Jason they were so cute yeah and they were they were good they were good boys they were and good boys they were just being sent them uh, to the pound no <laughs> Hey, all dogs go to heaven. Yeah, it's just weird that these ones go up the chimney first. <laughs> Reverse Santas. 
<laughs> yeah, so they were just being manipulated by whatever is causing all this ruckus and turmoil here in Seaview. You know, you could have avoided that fight, but we have a Vesuviac who tried to sneak and would have actually been sneakier had he not tried to sneak. You know? <laughs> well, said <so> it happens. <laughs> <laughs> had he just walked normally, it would have been it would have gone smoother, but no. Um, and then Zaba comes in and cleaves one into uh, ethereal nothingness. But, you know, Timothy and Vesuviac and Syl manage to talk one back down. In, back into into the hearth. Yeah. And after inspecting the rest of the common room, Syl goes and checks out the other door just to make sure that it's not the door to the outside. Mm-hmm. It actually was. So, um, <laughs> But it's good to know. It's good to double mm-hmm. check. Meanwhile, Timothy goes and checks the curtain that leads back to the service corridor. Takes a takes a moment to listen. Doesn't hear anything, except for some some crying and some moaning, which is very obvious. Yeah. Goes to listen and check on the crying and moaning, but com- was completely oblivious to this entity, this swirl of pots and pans. Pots and pans, yeah. Cutlery of the kitchen. You know, it was... Yeah. So, we will... And we decided to go ahead and roll initiative. No, we didn't. No, not yet. Not yet. So, let me go ahead and... Let's go ahead and do that. Give me a... Oh, boy. (laughs) Roll initiative. We're going to roll some initiative here. Oh, boy. All right. (laughs) Did you describe? Th- did we describe this for the audience last time? I, I believe, believe we, did. we did. Yeah. Yeah, we did. It's just an amalgamation of the characters from the Beauty and the Beast, uh, and they're coming after Timothy. Yeah, but they're Tim Burton esque. Yes, Tim Burton energy. God, now I get. I also re- reminded myself I need to watch Nightmare Before Christmas as well too. That's so such a good movie. I love it so much. There's actually an art exhibit going on right now at the McNay where it has all of the prop, or like some of the props from the movie there for, uh, for Night Before Christmas. I'm so excited. All right, so I have Mr. Tim. Hi. And- <laughs> I'm in the, danger. The creature in the track, in the encounter tracker. Yeah. As well as Zaba and Vesuviac and Syl. So we can go ahead and roll some initiative. Okay. All right. Here we go! Oh, wow! We got some good initiatives here! Yeah. Sill gotta go fast. Jeez. Sill did get to yeah. go fast because... Take advantage as, of the stealth. So, as soon as... As <sighs> Tim... Because, like, oh, shit! Sill, you get to react first. Yeah. I'm sure... I'm once again not going to get to take advantage of, you know, stealth. But I will drop into a stance and start moving towards the curtain. One action doesn't even get me there. Two moves will get me through the curtain. Timothy's like, hey, there's some pots there and they're alive. Oh, that's good. I They want to eat me bad. Yeah, that's pretty bad. I suppose shout back to tell everyone else to come help. Yeah. It's like, um, help? It's probably not a given in this group that that will happen. So. Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> yeah, I can not even get to Timothy with the two actions and the drop into stance as a third. So that's my turn. Alright, so oh. Syl kind of like ushers forward and zips through doesn't can't even see but as this creature comes around the corner and now still can finally see it yeah it's big it's not it's little. very big very very big oh. all right let's see here timothy waves like hey 
<laughs> and yeah, so I think the first thing it's going to do is going to float and just float right on top of Timothy for one action. <gasps> just comes no. right around the corner and floats right up right on top of Timothy. And then T Timothy, I'm gonna need you to go ahead and oh wait. Ignore that. Ign <laughs> go ahead and ignore that. Okay. Make that reflex save for me. Okie dokie. I'm in danger. Do you want me to make it like public so everyone can see it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, that was a five. You to do on better. That was a five on the die for a 14. That's a failure. Yeah. As this, this like swarm of kitchen. Tools, implements, dish rags, and pots and pans. Yeah. Just starts like, like flying and swarming and just pelting you. And it's go. You go ahead and take. Well, take three bludgeoning damage. I'll take it. Oh my god. Okay. There we go. But. Oh no. As you take that three bludgeoning damage, all like you get pelted and some of that ectoplasmic dishwater gets into your mouth. And oh. I need you to make a fortitude save. Gross, dude. Alright, let me make that fortitude save. What? Ooh, close. That was oh, okay. an eleven for twenty, and that's still a failure. Lame. So you are now poisoned but <laughs> we'll get we'll get to we'll get to it we'll get to you when, after the onset yeah. of what of this this affliction Boy. the word onset is never a good thing no it's not and for its third and final action it's going to target cell oh and it's going to go ahead and splash some um it's gonna go ahead and splash some of that ectoplasmic water right at cell. How about Ew. that? No, thank you. This is a fucked up slimer. Oh, that's a natural one for a critical miss. Wow. Just hurt Timothy. Just hurt all Timothy. of the yuck. Yeah, it only hurts Timothy. Timothy didn't <laughs> back with his like, fuck me, god damn it. Everything just wants to kill me. And we go to Zaba next turn. Uh, it sounds like Timothy is in trouble, so I will use all three of my actions to just dash as far as I can, getting just inside the curtained wall. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Zoom, zoom. Uh, that would be the square there. And three actions to get over there is all I got. Alrighty, Rue. Next turn is Timothy. Hi. I'm poisoned. Mm-hmm. And I don't think I can move away from this thing because I'll it'll, I'll have an attack of opportunity on me, I think. Yeah, I would. Oh, fuck oh, oh, me. Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh. Reactive strikes in, in PF2E, not all creatures have it. Oh. I didn't yeah. know that. Okay. Yeah, not all creatures have uh, attacks of opportunity or reactive strikes. So, as a matter of fact, I think uh, it comes out to roughly about only about a third of the creatures really? end up having having it. So, yeah. I'm still worried because I don't know. I want to move. I want to move because I don't like where I'm at. Oh. Okay. I'm, I'm just trying to think the best course of action right now because Timothy's in a bad situation here, gang. Just a little bit. I can already feel it in my bones, so this is not going to be good. Okay, okay. All right. Sorry. I had to take a second. I had to think. Okay. Okay. Timothy is going to actually try to get out of this thing's way. He's mm -hmm. looking to actually see about moving because, yeah, I, I don't like it. So he's just going to move back five feet. Unfortunately, 
okay. getting a little bit further away from his friends, but it makes the most sense to him because now he's not getting eventually hit with more knives or whatever. Yep. And I'm going to take out... Um, would you say I would still have out my wand from when I we were fighting the hell the hearth hounds? I would say so. I mean, right, I, cool. I don't think you would put it away, right? I don't think I would have. I've just wanted to confirm with you if you were cool with that. Yeah. So first action was to move. Second action, I'm going to use exploit vulnerability on this creature. Go for it. Because that makes the most sense. And don't forget to target it. Yes, I do. T for target. Boop. Is it actually? Hello? Sorry, don't mind me. There it is. Okay, cool. And I'm going to exploit vulnerability on this thing. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. I succeeded. That is a success. So that was an eight on the die. Yes. Plus 12. Yes. And that's a success. So you know its highest weakness. And its highest weakness is either area of effect five or splash damage five. Five splash five. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Okay. Jason, may I just inquire? Are you saying that this is a swarm of pots and pans of sorts? Because that would be just manacle. Yeah, I mean that's that's kind of what it looks like. Oh. And not cool. As a matter of fact, with diverse lore, Timothy yeah. knows that this is in fact. An incorporeal spirit undead swarm known as a dish rag dervish. <laughs> Sorry. This That's is a pretty good. dish rag dervish, an incorporeal spirit undead swarm. Clattering down stained hallways, sloshing aqua- across warped bars, looming in dusty closets, the swarming spirits called dish rag dervishes haunt the ruins of pubs, bars, and other communal places of libationary indulgence. The hardest working employees of public houses and taverns, waiters, servants, barhands, and others at the bottom rungs of the businesses typically sustain the most abuse and indignity from guests and employees, employers alike. Tragically, when destruction visits the establishment in the form of riotous mobs or belligerent arsonists, these same workers are also among the most likely to perish in those attacks. Perhaps it is no wonder, then, why sometimes, in the aftermath of an attack, these poor souls refuse to move on to the afterlife until the indignities they've suffered have been set right. And you get, so you get to ask one question, because it was a meets beats. Yeah. So you already know its weakness. I do know its weakness. It's an area of effect and splash damage. So what is... Like, what does this thing not res- not resist, but what is it immune to? The immunities? Okay. Yeah, I want to know immunities. So it has the swarm immunities and also the undead immunities. So it's immune to death effects. Got it. Meaning, like, spells and other feats that have the death trait. Mm-hmm. It's immune to disease, immune to paralysis, immune to poison. Great. Immune to unconsciousness. Okay. Immune to mental effects be- that that affect a single target. So if it's a mental effect that affects an area, it can oh. still be a, it, it can still affect it. But if it's a mental effect that in, that targets a single target, like like demoralize, yeah, th- it's immune to that because it is a swarm. It is a it has the mind of a swarm. Yeah. Okay. And perhaps most upsettingly to Rachel, it's immune to precision. Cool. So... As as is everything so far yeah. in book two. Yeah. Timothy, as he's getting this information, as he's looking over this thing, he states to the party, at least those that are in the hallway, yeah, hey, don't use precision on this. Definitely don't use any poison of anything that will... Like, Heal or not heal it. That stuff. Splash is really gonna be your best and other area of effect stuff. Timothy's gonna take his personal antithesis, by the way, on this thing. Before I forget. Oh, 
wouldn't you want to take your the um the immortal weakness? You're right, you're right, you're right. I'm a little silly. Don't mind me. Because it is higher than your personal antithesis. Yeah, it is. So I will have exploit more weakness on this thing now. What up, sucker? Um, well, shit. I don't really have anything else I can do that's one turn. Unless I want to just throw a hand at it. You could punch it. Because I could punch it. I could punch it. It's true. Because you have your mortal weakness on, on your punch. And yes. you'll, you'll get your full base attack because you haven't done anything. Yeah. Attacky. All right. Well, fuck it. I'm punching, punching pots. <laughs> oh, I that missed. was a miss by two. It was so close. That was a 12 on the die plus seven. Miss. So <laughs> close. It would have done some hefty damage, too, because oh. you would have had all of that weakness on it. Yeah. Alas. Nah, Timothy throws a punch and it just misses, I guess. Or like the dishes would part away just as his fist came through. It's like, God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> All right. And lastly, but not leastly, Vesuviak. Man, that's crazy. I got lost in initiative with like a what a seventeen. All right. Yeah. You're not the bottom of the round. You're the top of round two. Just think of it that way. That is mm. true. Let's see. I gotta use all three actions to move 60 feet, try and get closer to the action. Uh, I still can't see what's going on. The curtain's in the way. Yep. You so, scared Timothy yelling about dishes. <laughs> Musubiax just gonna shout, Don't die, please! <laughs> Trying not to! Alright, and that's all I do. <laughs> Alright. And we go back up to the top of round two, Sill. Yep. I will step forward into this lovely flank that Timothy set up. Oh, hey, what's up? Slightly <laughs> sad because the precision won't matter. And stash right. at it. Seven. Seven on, seven on the die for an 18 is going to be a miss. Hmm. I like how the die just plopped down. <laughs> it's very funny. <laughs> uh, yeah, no point in doing anything else since it's immune to mental stuff. So let's try again. Good. Nine mm -hmm. on the die for 16 is going to be a miss. Okay. Well, I effectively stepped forward so it can hit me easier. So, <laughs> But it's not going to do that oh, because it will spend its it will spend its first two actions doing a greasy spell. It's going to throw down a 15 foot burst underneath it. Oh, that lasts for a minute, so basically ten rounds. And I'm gonna need both Timothy and Syl to make that reflex save or that acrobatic save, whatever's higher. Oh, let me look. Let me look. Reflex or acrobats? Acrobats. Uh, oh, it's just slightly better for me. Uh, no, it's gotta be reflex. That's a 10 22. on the die, plus 12 for a 22 for Syl. That's a success. <laughs> and 9 on the die, plus 9 is an 18 for a failure by Timothy. My pathetic little man, Jesus Christ. <laughs> and Timothy, you fall prone as you slip on this grease. Fuck. <laughs> now, it's basically the grease spell. If you try to use an action... To move into the area, you have to attempt either a reflex or an acrobatics check to stay up balanced. And if a creature steps or crawls, you don't have to make the check. So, any move action in Greece, you got to make that check. But if you step or crawl, you're good. All right, so that was two actions. Yeah. And for its third action... It's going to try to. It's going to try to. It's going to target Zaba. Bold. And bold. try to poison Zaba. Oh, I'm immune to that. It misses anyway. So it, it throws out that ectoplasmic dishwater and it completely misses. Oh, yeah. Right. I'm, I'm, I'm just immune to poison, you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, your Zama, it's your turn. Is long. All right, you know I'm. Uh, 
I move forward 10 feet, stepping into goo. Into the grease. <laughs> into goo. So. Make a I reflex will, uh, or acrobatics. I will make that acrobatics. Holy shit. Woo! 19 on the die for a 27. You're fine. And because I don't know if it actually matters, but I do have the steady balance feat, so that's actually a critical success. Critic, there, there is no critical effect. You're, okay, it's, cool. You're, you're totally fine. Yeah, you don't fall. I'm prone. super good. Yeah. Uh, and then reaching over top of Sill, probably doing some significant damage to the walls and whatnot throughout this building. I will strike. Uh, with both of my weapons, first the sword and then the trident, using you, my double slice. Did you pull the double slice macro onto your hot bar? I'm pretty sure I got the right one. We're going to find out right now. All right. Oh. Ooh, both attacks miss. Uh, so that's rough. First one was a 9, plus 9 is an 18, and the second one was a natural 1. Yeah, can't do much with that. No. Nope. That is Ava. And uh, yeah, it did look like the macro did work because. It did work, so. That's nice. That was really cool. Yeah, we'll have to make sure that uh, uh, it works for the damage, but I'll have to hit first. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. So Zaba steps up and totally miraculously and shockingly maintains his balance for such a large amphibian, but just comes down with both of those weapons and to no avail. Well, Mr. Timothy, you are on your ass. I am on my ass. If I get up, that's one action, right? Or if you get up, you got to make a You got to make a check to stand up because standing up is a move action. <laughs> All right, I'm going to make the check. You could just stay. You could, you could just could, stay on your ass. I, I could just stay on my feels more comfortable on the ground. It's where he belongs. <laughs> you could you could fire your wand and punch yeah. from your ass. Fuck, I'm gonna... <laughs> How did you come up with the title of the episode? <laughs> <laughs> from your ass. From your ass. Yeah, I'm gonna fling magic at this sucker. Comfy on the ground, he's just gonna point his wand at it, and let's fling magic at this thing. All right. Oh, that looks cool as hell. Sorry, I hadn't seen that yet. And so I should be able to just do level to the damn. Oh, no, that's going to make the reflex save. Yeah, it has first. to make the reflex save first. Yeah, you got to make that save first. Mess up. Five on the die. Oh, it, it barely. Barely. <sighs> it's a. Hey, so it takes half damage. So that it will leveled take damage half damage. That All leveled. Right. Bop. Plus four. Yeah. All right. So I have that going on. All right. That's seven force damage done to this thing. Okay. If I'm not mistaken. And then Timothy. You know what the unarmed attack is? Is that Timothy, since he's on the floor, he's actually going to kick up at, the, Ooh, at it nice. instead. Very nice. Uh, and fling magic does not have the attack trait. So you can use your full base attack bonus. Oh, shit. Yeah. That's neat as fuck. All right, here. I'm going to... I roll to hit. I forget I'm on the ground, so it does it does fuck with me a little. Oh, shit. <laughs> 19 on the die is a hit. <laughs> Donkey kick this. <laughs> I rolled damage now, I guess, right? Because yep. it has the damage button. Yep. I wasn't ready for it to work. Oh, implement empowerment. I should have not pressed. Actually, no, wait. No, I should have not had implement empowerment turned on for that. I'm so sorry. So it should be only two damage, if I'm not mistaken. But you have mortal weakness, right? Oh, you're right. Yeah, I do. So, yeah. So we'll take that. Okay. <laughs> so Timothy flings the wand and fucking donkey kicks this thing. All right. What a good oh, turn. man. It's, t it's taking a chunk. Here we go, Vesuviac, you're up. All right, I am going to use one action to, whoops, let's select my token. I'm gonna move one action to get around the bar and then another action to actually get into the room to see what's happening. Hey! Okay. Hmm. 
Don't let this thing poison you. Oh, yeah, Tim. That's a good call. Thank you for reminding me about the poison. It is the end of your turn. Yeah. I'm going to need you to go ahead and take six poison damage. Oh, yucky. Was I supposed to take poison damage after my last turn? As nope, because well it, okay. it has an onset. Okay. So for Okay, so after one round, you're already off guard. So Yeah. But if you stand up, you're going to stay off guard. Oh, boy. And make another fortitude save to see how badly you go. Oh. That's a failure, so you move to stage two. Uh-oh. And we'll find out what that does at the end of next round. Okay. So, Vesuviak, you moved up, and you spent the second move action to move up. Yes. What's, Third what's action, your... I'm going to draw the scimitar. Draw the scimitar. Okay. And sell. You've seen you you see some dents and some chips in these pots and pans, from mm-hmm. most, well mostly dents, from Timothy kicking the shit out of it. Yeah, surely I will be able to hit it this time. Attempt number one. It's not going to choose to roll. There it goes. Mm-hmm. Ooh, Five for sixteen. That's a, that's a miss. Five on the die. <laughs> sixteen. Yeah. I'll try again. Yeah. Okay. I believe in you. Did it roll? No. Okay. Uh, it there it goes. Ten yep. on the die for a seventeen is also going to be a mess. Yeah. There's nothing to do mm-hmm. but just go for it again since I'm cornered in here. Oh, there. I decided to roll on its own. Oh! That's probably not accurate. That was okay. probably... Well, funny. that third roll... The third roll is finally a hit. Finally a hit on the third roll for a 12 plus 7 is a 19. That didn't take out the map then. I right? hate to be that guy, yeah, but is it, it at the proper map? It's not at the proper map. I think it rolled from five mm. clicks ago. Oh, yeah, never mind. So it that's a minus that, 10. That's, do you want me to re-roll it at map or? Okay. Let me try this. Yeah, re-roll the third one then. Okay. Right, what's your third action? Striking again. My thing just doesn't. There it goes. There it is. Yeah, it's still a hit. Okay. Yay. That's funny. All right. Here's some damage you'll have to take out the. If it... I'm going to reload after my turn here. It doesn't need to do things. There it goes. You'll have to take okay. out the. Uh, you're gonna the discount damage. five of that. Yeah. It's your penalty for keep throwing things that are immune to precision. And now, the old dishrag dervish, which I guess I can reveal their name now, since you, since you know. Since I know now, I no do all know them by the way. Name. We know what you are. I know what you are. Well, go ahead and. Load on over. Oh, thank God it's not hitting me anymore. On top of Sil and Zaba. And then it will... So that's one action. We'll spend its second action to swarming rags. So I need both of you to make that reflex save. Oh, no. Three on the die... For 15 for Sill, that's a fail. And that was a 4 on the die for a 12 for Zaba. That's a crit fail. Yeah. My boy. So it is. It's only 1d8. Yeah, at least we're not prone. That would be embarrassing. 5. Uh, yeah, thanks. <laughs> so that's double damage. So you take 10, Zaba. And you get Sil, you take 5. So yeah. again, again, not a whole lot of damage. I think the most, the biggest one is that, uh, that poison that you all saw, uh, Mr. Bono take, and I need to not roll it. I want to tag it. Oh my goodness. I need to, 
Right. Just rolling rocks on that fortitude save against yourself, yeah, though. Man, you're yeah, man. I'm wasting it. all these. I'm wasting all these rolls. Yeah. No, thank you. Please keep wasting there. them. Roll that fortitude save for me, you two. I feel good going into this fortitude save, knowing that a thirty will pass it. <laughs> that was a success for him, Sil. Yeah, seventeen on the oh! back. <laughs> Member of the two crew. <laughs> yeah, member of give the me, two crew for Saba. Mm, give me that. Give me that good old poison goodness. I got a big <sighs> mouth, so it's easy to infiltrate. It's a good thing I I'm right that. behind you. So, Z- Sil, that was a seventeen on the die for six for a twenty-three. That's a success. Two crew for Zaba. For plus ten for twelve. That's a it's crit fail. Be one every episode, you know. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Uh, we'll find out what happens, but you go right to stage two. So we'll find cool. out what happens at the end of your turn. Oh my god, twinsies! <laughs> I'm so lucky that I think my turn happens next. Yay! Yeah, your turn happens right now. <laughs> so Timothy can know what happens. Cool. All right. Seeing as I'm already consumed within this swarm, I will take an action to move through it to All the right. other side. Make a reflex save first. You got our, our acrobatics. Acrobats. For that grease. <laughs> uh, 19. And let me pull up the grease. 19. Ew. Oh, sorry, bud. You slip before you move. Really? Yep. That was an 11 on the die. Plus 8 is a 19. So Damn. you are prone right, right before you move. Cool. I'm super glad I got that crit success last time. <laughs> so I guess that's that. I take an action to stand up. Make an acrobatic save. Because <laughs> that's a move action. Oh, man. Too bad it's not an athletics check. Well, you could also swing from prone, too, if you wanted to. That's hey, right. that's, an, that's an 18 plus 8 to 26. That's, that's a success. You can stand right back up. Perfect. And now angry. I will strike once instead of the multiple times I was planning originally. Big hit. 16 plus 11 to 27. That's a hit. Four. Woo. 17 damage. 17 slashing damage. Woo. It's not looking great. It's at half health. And that's Zaba after his little slip and slide. <laughs> All right, bud. Well, first things first. The end of your turn. Take some poison damage. Oh, I keep saying I'm immune to that. <laughs> you take six poison. Ouchie. And your second one. No. And make that fortitude save. Oh, you got it. Fifteen. Oh, that's a success. You actually go down a stage. Yeah. Well, well, well. You go down a stage. So you're at stage one. Nice. Well done. And Mr. Timothy Bono. Hi, it's me again. Well, Timothy, he does, he's going to fling magic at this thing. All right. <laughs> it it right. makes sense to do. So we got to make that reflex save. Mess up, bud, please. That's not a mess. Like, that's not. That's a 12. That's a success. <sighs> lame. Mega lame. All right. Oh, 12 on the die. Yeah. All right. Yes. That's eight damage done to that thing, or eight damage, but it takes half of that. And then Timothy's last action. It would make sense to get up, but honestly, I'm still going to have a off guard on me, if I'm not mistaken, because of the you poison. Will. Yeah. Ooh, I don't like this. This sucks. Okay. You can always crawl out of the grease. You could. I could crawl out of the grease, but that means I'm not going to really be able to, you know, help out you guys. And I want to be able to help out. Well, if you crawled to the northeast, there's a square that doesn't have any grease, and you'd still be able to see the baddie. Mm. Oh. A good old five-foot crawl? A good old five-foot crawl. Yeah. Timothy's gonna do that. And next turn you can stand. 
Yeah, that's true. All right, that's, that's the ending of Timothy's turn. He just walks away a little bit, or crawls a little bit, and he just lets out a groan as he's like, I, I fucking hate poison. I hate poison. <laughs> All right, well, yeah. you hate it so much, you get to take it again. Oh, jeez, thanks. Let's see what I roll for poison. <laughs> Another six! Just rolling rocks on that poison die. God. I know. That's six poison damage for Timo. Yeah. Your second one. You're cool. no longer flat-footed huh. because of the poison. Yeah. Because that, that flat-footed now becomes sickened instead of... Nice. Or, I'm sorry, off not, not flat-footed. Yeah, off-guard instead I of I gotcha. Okay. And then make that fortitude save to see if you go up or down the track. I don't want to look. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's a... You would have gone down... You would have gone up two. But instead of one, because of, that's a crit fail. That was a three on the die plus eight for an 11. But there's only I, I, three stages. Oh, yeah. I already said this before. You gotta roll better. I'm, I, so, you know what? I'm adding on to the drama. That's just what it is. The inner theater kid uh, in me is like, I'm rolling bad right. on purpose. <laughs> so you right. are... You are at the maximum stage. And we'll find out what happens at the end of your turn next round. Vesuviak! So, uh, am I able to attack this thing with, like, a, a ranged spell attack with Zaba in the way? Yes, it will have cover, but yes, you, you, yes, you can. Okay, how much would that cover be? Um, probably lesser, because it's, it's your ally. You can shoot through your ally, but it's, it's not like a, it's not like a wall. You know. Okay. Now nah, I'm gonna do support. I'm gonna go ahead and cast Forbidding Ward on Zaba. Okay. Uh, let me go ahead and get that casted. And he can drag it onto his token. There you go. I lack permission. <laughs> no, he has to do it. Oh, yeah, okay. I got it. Gotcha. Thank you. And then. Just in case this thing decides to swirl over to where Vesuviak is, he's going to raise his shield as his final action. Smart. He doesn't trust this. He can see that it can engulf his friends. <laughs> Very smart. Well, Sil? Yeah. I'm you're up. not going to try to move after seeing everyone else <laughs> fall on their ass, so... <laughs> Just swinging away. Oh, continue, the, continue the streak oh, of those rolls. That's I'm a not. seven on the die for... That's a miss. Yeah. Not by much. Seven for an 18. All right. Try again. Another seven. <laughs> this time for a 14. Okay. It's another miss. Third try. This worked last time. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's a natural one. <laughs> Four. Wow. So. Dude, it's crazy they put the final boss of the book actually here. This is right? wild. <laughs> Just, just in this hallway. <laughs> mm -hmm. All this inc incorporeal spirit's going to float on over to Vesuviac, just like he anticipated. Oh, bud. Yep. And uh, it will get both Vesuviac and Zaba in its, <laughs> in its space. Uh, another so, one of the advantages of being a large creature. <laughs> <laughs> If you, if it wasn't incorporeal, you it would have you would have been able to block it. But yeah. All right. So swarming rags, one action. So make the reflex save you you two. Okay. Just what a cl a war priest and a barbarian are so good at. Oh my god! I actually did it though. <laughs> Nineteen <laughs> on the die. That's a twenty-five. So you'll take half damage. And Zaba will take full. On max eight. Damn. And then where is that poison? But I mean, Zaba, you're already poisoned. This is more for Vesuviac. Timothy, oh, like, yells from the corner, like, don't, My don't want to get in your mouth. <laughs> All right, hold on. You can pull you're it up so for you, bud. good. So yeah. good at those fortitude saves. Dude, dude, you're amazing at those. All right, here we go. <laughs> No! Natural one. 
Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> Dude, again, I can't believe they put the final boss here. That's crazy. <laughs> Yay. Yippee. <laughs> All right, so you're also on track number two. All right. Bozaba, well, you're at it, bud. It's up to you. So Zob is in a predicament here due to his ally's placement. <laughs> due to being his size and largely using reach weapons, uh, I do not believe I can strike with my trident at this range at all. So with that, I am forced to just rain down blows one-handed with my bastard sword. So we'll give that a go. It's a good thing I'm sickened. 19 on the die. Hey, let's go. That's a hit. 27's a hit. For nine. Chipping away. It's almost there, boys and girls. <laughs> another Ooh. 19 on the die. It's another hit. Please. 24. Oh, oh max, max damage. Let's go. And you take it out. Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> it's basically single handedly. Yes. Like, Timothy scratched I, it. I said basically. <laughs> Timothy scratched it. I think <laughs> Vesuviak is just going to like wait until the grease clears up before he goes over to heal Timothy. Yeah. <laughs> Timothy's just lying down on the ground. Now I guess that third poison still? Yeah, so we, we gotta we gotta track that. Oh yeah, I need some poison damage as well. Okay, so we'll, 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 I'm, we're gonna just do this one character by character. So we'll start with Timothy. Hey, bud. Uh, all right. Do I so, get an opportunity to cast heal on uh, Zaba? Yeah, you can. Okay. So Tim, you get to go ahead and. Let's see. You take that. You take uh, one poison damage. Oh, thank God! Only one. And your second two now. Yeah. And we'll see how many fortitude saves you take. So, so make that. Okay. Well, it doesn't help, and I'm like second one. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. <laughs> so that'll be four. Do, do another one. Okay. So click forward to see it again. Yep. Okay. That'll be five. Do mm -hmm. another one. <laughs> uh, that, oh, as, I guess that doesn't matter. As the, so, okay. As these then, are happening, could Timothy have spent two rounds retching to get rid of the second negative modifier? Not really, because... Do I take all of that? Can I attempt to go over and do a medicine check to see if I Yeah, can... you got you you'll, you'll take all of that. All of that. I guess oh. you could have spent you, you could have tried to retch to get rid of that second modifier. But I mean, you still would have been making no, 42 saves. No, I still would have had really bad rolls anyway, so I'll take Yeah, that you would have failed two, them all anyways. The other two and then the five. Fuck Christ. All right, now we go to Zava. All right, so you were at number 2. I'm at stage one because I critical succeeded. All right. So you were just at off guard then. So you're not sickened. So. So that's one poison. All right. Now, now you get to make that fortitude save. And this only lasts six rounds. So you got four more rounds, Sava. So make a fortitude save. And it doesn't matter. You got rid of the poison naturally. Oh, God damn it. I'm, I'm good with poisons. Yeah. <laughs> so you got you got rid of it naturally. You don't, we don't even have to do the rest for you. Cool. All right. Now with Vesuviak, you are only at, you're at the very beginning, bud. Yep. All right. Let me. No, I still have uh, working with a crit fail. Yeah. So you're at stage two. So that being said, you are second one. And you'll take one poison damage. I'll take Lucky. it. And you got five rounds of this. Oh, boy. So, there is your fortitude save. Godspeed, so King. This is your first one. Let's go. 
That's a fail. What is a fail? Oh, jeez. So you take that, and you increase your second to two. So you take two more poison damage and second two. You got four more rolls of that oh. fortitude save. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Do I just scroll up and hit click it again? Yep. All right. No. Nope. That's another fail. <laughs> hey, at least it wasn't a critical fail like me, man. That's true. All right, actually, here. Just let me delete. Just I'll delete that. So just give me... Just keep rolling for the, the th f three more fortitude saves, and then I'll know how many how many okay. times they click it. One, a, a right. that goes down by one. So, hold on, one, two. So okay. take both of those, and then we actually are going to change your second to one. Okay, okay. And I got two rolls left, right? Yep. Let me change your second to one. All right. Jesus. Well, here. I can scroll up and click it. Yeah, just sc scroll up and click it. All right. Here it goes. That's a nope. <laughs> so you'll take one more, and we increase your second. For... It doesn't. Poison. This one doesn't matter. This one actually doesn't matter. Just you get two more. Two more poisons, and that's it. Poison's a bastard. How... Yeah, it is. Do I get rid of my second two, by the way, or no? Oh, yes, yes, you do. You okay. guys can get rid of your second. Okay. Because I'm assuming we're just going to spend as much time as you as you need to retch. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Timothy's just All right. Now you can patch yourselves up. Timothy's just lying on the ground again. Yep, we're about to And the whole time, here. so while you're patching yourselves up and you're vomiting and doing your thing... The whole time, in, in, in member of the back room, you hear this, yeah, this like frightened crying sound. That night is for healing, by the way, right, Tim? Yeah. Refer to him. Okay. You know, I'm uh, feeling all right. So you want me to go check out that room? No, I, I, no. I mean, I wasn't sick at all. I can go check it out. Why don't you no. hold like Timothy's hair back? He's still puking a little bit. <laughs> so. I'm fine. Fine. I understand wanted to go ahead. You seem to be the quiet one of the group, but I'll let you know I am the second most quiet. That is... But I will babysit the loud ones. Okay. Yeah. Good to know, though. Next time you can look behind the curtain. So we'll move towards this. Just, the just back be door. gentle with whatever the hell is in there. It sounds like it's crying and it might be scared. I, I, I do know how to. No, I, I'm just people, stating. Timothy, Look. I, but yeah, I I will I'll peek into the door very slowly so as not to startle. Oh, yeah. Scared thing. Is this the right door? The back one. Yep. So what you see is a storage closet, and it's mostly crowded with a bunch of kitchen supplies, food, barrels, and most of the food actually in this place has been opened. And you get this the smell of um, kind of like spoiled ale and body odor. As in the corner, you see a terrified, and I mean terrified, Orpok. Oh my god! Jesus, that was a jump scare. Aww. Jason, I wasn't ready. <laughs> Yeah, this is this is an Orpok cook, who is yeah terrified. Yeah, tears and snot and drool all, all over the place. Yeah, and, and as you open the door, he just cowers in the corner, not even looking at you. So we'll walk in very slowly. Uh, hey, it's it's fine. We're not spooky spirits. We're not here to hurt you. You know, still has no weapons, uh, obvious weapons. I'll just kind of slowly walk forward. Uh, yeah. The, I, I heard, I heard, I heard them outside. I heard that thing that I don't know what it is. I, I don't. Yeah, we, it, we took care of it. We can, you know, walk you out if you want. Make sure nothing else jumps out at you. Get you outside. Oh no, oh no, I, I, I saw what happened. I saw what happened to the hearth hounds. 
Nope, those are gone too. It's it's all good. Uh, you should get out now before, you know, anything else happens though. You just have to no. avoid the puke. No, no, no. It's, 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 I'm safe in here and I, there's so, so many, so many scary things out there. Yeah, and I, I get what you're saying. I, I mean, I'm not going to make you come out, but it really would be safer if you were just outside, out of the way. But he, he's just, I, I, I mean, this can't, this place can't be the only place that's haunted, right? There's gotta be, it, it can't just be this place. There's a lot of other places that are haunted. Uh, sure. There's a lot of strange things happening. So there's safe places, though. You know, get go back home. You don't live here, do you? N- no. Yeah, why don't, why don't you get home, check on your, you know, family or whatever. You haven't happened uh, to see the, uh, the owner of this place, have you? Whose name I'm looking up right now. <laughs> uh, the owner. Am, am, do. Those are the letters I wrote down. See, so you're saying that if the coast is clear... Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's clear to the front door. Don't don't go back for anything. Oh, and you can see there's like a sense of relaxation. Okay. 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 I think I can. I think I can try. Oh my gosh! Thank you so much. Oh my, I've been stuck here for so long. Oh, thank you so much. I just, I. <sighs> Oh, and he starts crying. It's just like, I just, I, I, you know, I couldn't get past the hounds and I just hid in here and I knew it was a bad idea. And when I tried to leave, I saw that thing with the pots and the rags and it wouldn't let me leave. And you did great. You're okay now. Now I'm going to warn you and, you know, Sil's doing a very probably unconvincing pat on the back at this point, but, you know, there there are some friends of mine outside. They might look a little scary, but they're not. But we're gonna, we're gonna walk out now, and you're gonna tell me about the proprietor here, and where she went as we make our way out, okay? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Sure. So we'll make sure to go first and, you know, shoot a glance at Zaba and Vesuvia. As this conversation was happening, Zaba definitely would have opened this door in the hallway and just kind of opened it to see if there was anything inside. They would have been bored. The other, do- the other door in the hallway? Yeah, there's nothing. Yeah. There. Just, again, just a bunch of kitchen supplies and mm. not a right. whole lot of what's of filthy and- lucre. And- of anything useful. Mm. It's just supplies. That's a uh, that that's fine. Oh god, okay. The oh. just leaning against the wall. <laughs> yeah, Timothy's leaning up against the wall and he's I think right now actively because he was not expecting all of that nasty poison damage. He takes a sip of his, his rum. Yeah. <laughs> That's good for an upset tummy. It, honestly, it's just to steal his nerves. Oh, he's on the move. Oh. And so as the the young Orpa cook, whose name is Mupto. Mupto. He, and he's like, so, okay. And he just starts talking, and he's talking a mile a minute. And, you, and I mean, he's... He's a teen. He's barely. Oh, no. He's a junior cook, and he's just like talking a mile a minute, like any teenage teenager would. Yeah. So like, I don't know what happened to Do, but um, Ambodo, O M B O D O. That's the Orpak woman who owns the restaurant. Mm-hmm. Ha- you know, I haven't seen her in a while, but like, it's just. It's been so weird, and I don't know what happened, and it was so crazy, and things have been really strange, and 
you know, I think it, it kind of goes back to about a week ago, like the councilwoman rented out that private room back there. And he points to down the hallway towards this room. It's like, she rented it out, and I just thought it was, you know, some regular old uh, council business, but, you know, what do I know? It's well, like... Wait, the the Orpak councilwoman, or the... No, 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 Pelbori, the, okay. the, the bird the lady. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It was, a, it was about a week ago. Well, maybe about nine days ago. I don't know what she was doing in there. I just assumed it was council business. But with all this crazy hauntings that have gone on, I don't know, maybe there's a coincidence? Yeah, you never know. I mean, that's super helpful. Thank you. Are you hurt at all? Oh, no. No, I'm not hurt at all. I'm just sick of eating the same food over and over again. Well... You don't have to deal with that anymore. You should you should really get out of here. Okay. I mean if you're if the coast is clear and you say it is Yeah, there shouldn't be anything else around here. Sure. Oh yeah, okay. And listen, you know, I'm no I'm just a junior cook, but if you ever want to a good you know, it's 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 this delicacy that I found from the mainland where I think you come from, and he points to Timothy. It's called a grilled cheese. You sandwich. have grilled cheese? No, stop everything! I have not had a grilled cheese in so long. Like you could, uh, it's just so swing good. Swing by my place, and I'll totally make make one for you. Oh my god, I would love one. What kind of bread do you use? You use like a sourdough or like. Yeah, I can. I can make a sourdough. Any, anything, anything at this point, man. I'll take anything. <laughs> Timothy is now very excited at the thought of a grilled cheese. <laughs> Zaba right. has lost interest in this and is staring intently down the hallway towards the door we yeah, were warned makes about. Yeah, that sense. <laughs> and Mupto head heads on back, and heads back home. So what do you do? Let's go see what the fuck the, what the fuck Mupto was talking about. Yeah, so for for the hallway, you have the opening that leads into the kitchen. Yeah. And the kitchen kind of has a back room. Yeah. As well. And obviously the door that leads into the common room behind the bar. And then, yes, there is the, the private party room. You said you're sneaky, Zaba. You want to go sneak a peek in that room or that door? Either one. Yeah. Whatever you want, I got this. Yeah. Go go look in the open room first. We don't want anything <laughs> jumping out at us. Cool. Taking orders as he does, I'll roll for stealth and then advance into the kitchen as quietly as possible. Yeah, there's nothing nothing that you notice in the kitchen. The I mean it's it's in disarray, in which you can clearly tell that the dish rag dervish was formed in the kitchen Mm. likely from the spirits of whatever killed the cooks in here and Mupto being the lone survivor Uh, there's probably a bunch of stuff in here if you wanted to search you can definitely uh, make me a make me that perception check yeah, I'll take a, a quick secret. once over for sure. Make me a secret perception check. Alright. And yeah, you do find something over here. That among the damage and smeared food on the eastern side of the room, the back wall of the pantry is smeared with fo- foul food in letters that that read stop 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 all in one word no spacing i'm going to here it reads like that stop 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 and where was that written sorry 
That was in the pantry back okay. back here. Gotcha. It's, you, yeah, you get it was it's against this back wall. It, the again, this is the wall that's shared with the private party room. And then hidden in crates underneath the shelf the the countertop somehow spared by the the rage of the dish rag dervish there is a crate and in the crate are four bottles of old woody old woody if you're not familiar is a magical rare incredibly rare liquor that is only available on gold crop island and when i mean magical i do mean magical each bottle is about the size of like a hotel hotel mini bar bottle no single serving and when you drink it you have to roll on a d100 table and that d100 table has 100 different effects I think I've mentioned this before, but I love a D100 or, you know, I love rolling a D100 on a chart. It's an absolute favorite. So I'm, I will definitely pocket those old woolet woodies immediately knowing what they are. And, and uh, when you, when you drink old Woody, you apply the effect. And if you wanted to, if you, if you don't imbibe it willingly, you can attempt a fortitude save to try to negate the effect. Yeah, there it is, right there. And you do become temporarily immune to the effects of Old Woody for 24 hours after you take you take a drink. I love it. So, so I can cool. I can read this out to our our audience. Old Woody is a legendary brew, a strange magical alcohol that produces randomized effects. Its price and taste vary wildly based on the year it is brewed, which can not only change the taste, but also cause it to have different effects than the ones listed below, or make some of the effects more likely than others. Some brews of Old Woody even have different item levels. A single drink from a typical brew of Old Woody sells for around 50 gold pieces, if you can find one. After drinking the Old Woody, you roll a D100 and apply the listed effects. If you didn't do so, you can attempt a DC 20 Fortitude save to negate to, to negate the effect. If you didn't willingly do so. After drinking Old Woody, you are temporarily immune to the effects of further drinks of Old Woody for 24 hours. So there I you have it. it. And I don't even know what's on the, on the chart, so <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> All right, that uh, the kitchen is, I'd say, clean, but it is real mess. You know, very depressing trauma demon made out of pots and pans. Destroy it. I yeah. uh, check secret party room next. Okay. Did you see anything else in there? No. Okay. Uh, do you want a new stealth roll approaching this door? Yes, absolutely. You got her. Uh... Oh, I meant to make that blind. That's Would you like okay. a new one? That's All okay. Right. No, we'll go. We'll roll with it. Cool. I'll pretend I'm blind. All right, so I approach the door very quiet. <laughs> and then I, I crack it open. <sighs> Timothy's going to follow after just because he's like, no, I don't want you doing that alone. So, stayed in the doorway to the kitchen, so not yeah. in direct line of sight. Hold on. The door is actually locked. Oh, I, uh, I pull out my tools and pick lock. You have tools? Huh. If you want to pick a lock, I also have a force open a check if you wanted to do that. I'm all right. Would you like this blind or can I see how well I do? Uh, let me... Do that. Nah, let me see. I forget if pick a lock is secret or not. Pick a lock is not secret. You can do this. You can do this out in the public. 
Cool, let's see how it goes. Oh, I rolled bad. That is a failure. This makes me angry. I think I force open it at this point. Hey, do you, before we make a loud noise, do you want me to try that there, Zaba? Oh, he's, as soon as he fails to open the lock stealthily, yeah. oh, he just, boy. he just drops Smash. his shoulder into it. <laughs> yeah, there you go. You, you manage to open the door as you burst through. I am here now. All right. Oh, boy. Give me one second. So you were not stealthy at all. Not even close. I tried and then was not. I wasn't expecting a locked door. <laughs> all right. As you as you open this door, you notice that every inch of the wall of this large t- chamber is covered with scrawled notes and inscrutable diagrams. Twine leads from some of the diagrams to other diagrams, making a confusing web along the room's walls. Two serving tables are all but invisible bet- beneath untidy heaps of paper. A chalk circle marked with small runes fills most of the floor between the serving tables. And you see Counselor Pelbori in full-on paranoia here in the middle of this rune circle. And she just looks at you and is like, you're not going to stop me. You know I am doing this for the good of Seaview. You will not stop me. This is... I need to do this. I need to stop whatever's happening. Hey, I'm, uh, you know, I'm a good guy. I'm not here to necessarily stop you. What are you doing? Fill me in. Maybe we can talk about this. This, this, this is the only way. This is the only way that I can stop these spirits from causing so much mayhem in this town. I am a member of the council. It is my duty to protect this town. So, uh, what are you going to do? This, this, this is what I need to do. This is what I need to... I'm doing it right now, and you cannot interrupt me. Oh, I'm, uh... Sorry, I should have knocked. At this point, Zob is using, like, the hand that can't be seen to wave people forwards down yeah, the hallway. Timothy. Timothy's coming <laughs> on in. If he can. All right, yeah, it sounds like you have good plan or something, but, uh... You know, I'm... Very curious about what you are doing. Do I recognize any of the sigildry or what's happening in this room? Yeah. Are, are you are you standing in the doorway or are you letting the rest of the folks come into this room as well? I would like to see. I think at this point he's trying not to provoke them until he understands the situation. Okay. So just standing in the doorway, kind of like leaning head in. Yeah, absolutely. So what? what would your... Actually, I can pull it up with uh, the party overview. Can I cast I mean, guidance on him while he's doing this? Would you? You wouldn't know that he's trying to do, trying to do a recall knowledge on Sigildry. Well, I mean, yeah, fair. <laughs> I wish I could help you, dude. It's uh, the only way I thought I'd be able to help, but no, I don't know what he's doing. You're right. <laughs> I mean, Timothy okay. was there next so to him. This but... would be religion. So go ahead, Zava, and make me this secret. Make this a secret, this secret check. There you are. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, bud. Th- that was a critical success. Zava knows some things nice. about religion. He's been around for a while. So what you know, what you know is... Okay. Um, what you know is that the runes that Counselor Pelbori has created over the over um, is intended to be one of protection against malevolent spirits, which is indeed what she is telling you and babbling at you. But you also realize, um, and this is from you know eons of being a demon lord down in the pits of the abyss. You also realize that she fucked up and this is made incorrectly. 
And as such, the symbol doesn't provide any protection at all. Instead, it's one that attracts and agitates spirits. So not only is it attracting new spirits to see of you, the ones that are here, it's pissing off. It's pissing them off. And gotcha. you also gain insight into um, because of this the you, my friend gain a plus one to AC Whoa. and saving throws against all of her spells. Cool. Upon having all this insight, you'll go, yeah, I can see what you're doing, you know. Protection from evil spirits and all that. And he'll take a hearty step into the room and just essentially try and get as close to the runes as he can before she loses her cool. You know, I uh, I like your handiwork. This circle is, you know, definitely drawn there with some <laughs> nice salt or something. And yeah, he'll just smear it and try and break whatever she's got going on. Are you do- are you doing this su- uh, stealthily at all? Uh, he's walking up and talking nicely, and then I think it's just a foot goes out and drags through the lion. All right, as pretty blatantly at that point. Oh, she's gonna take that as a sign of aggression then. <laughs> Yeah, it's, you know, it's uh, fair. So first what? action to draw a foot through line. <laughs> and at this point, she's like, what? No, no, you can't do that. I'm, I, just, I thought you understood. I'm here. I'm here to, I'm here to, to protect the city. What are you doing? I, no. Uh, so and... I am timeless demon and I know some things about magic circle and you do this one wrong and you make everything much worse. So I do you favor. No, you no. Oh no, no, no. I see what you're trying to do. You're trying to blame me for what everything that's going on. No, 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 no. That's not going to fly. That's not going to fly, bud. And now we will get into a combat as she gets pissed off. But before that happens, may your parties never end. <laughs> may your parties never end. May your party never end. I smelled something suspicious with that counselor, so I had a <laughs> feeling we'd be end up we'd end up fighting them. The Jewel of the Indigo Isles Adventure Path is copyright 2023. All logos, titles, and artwork are property of Skyscraper Studios and Roll for Combat and used with permission. Pathfinder is a trademark of Paizo Incorporated. The theme music is written and performed by Robbie Whiplash.